greatest ways that we can advocate, and we talked about this is intercession. I really believe this. All the ways that we talked about advocating for others, you know, listening to other people, uh, making sure that you understand before you seek to be understood, going forth and pleading their case, getting prophetic revelation. All of these things, we need to be people of prayer. We want to be people that are going before God because he is, you know, our advocate through Jesus Christ. He knows all things. He's omnipresent. He's omniscient. So we really want to get our revelations, our word from the Holy Spirit. We want to pray. We also want to read our word. We want to be people of God who are following him. And then he's going to lead us and guide us into all truth. He's going to show us how to advocate. He's going to show us how to pray. He's going to show us how to defend the cause of the fatherless, the widow, and those that are in need. He's going to show us how to advocate in prayer for one another. Amen. How to pray for the church to advance. How to pray for grace for one another. How to pray for mercy for those that may be persecuting us. Mercy for ourselves we need mercy too uh and we're not interesting for ourselves but i mean the church praying for others within the church as well we do want to pray for ourselves but just a reminder intercession is praying for others but we do need to pray for ourselves as well amen god is powerful he's leading us and guiding us into all truth just keep hearing that as as we're talking here so father god we just thank you lord for leading and guiding us into all truth we thank you lord for showing us how to advocate for others in purity of heart uh, in simplicity, in grace, Father God. We pray, Lord, that we follow your unctions of the Holy Spirit, that we do not step out ahead of you, that we don't go forth in anger and bitterness and malice and ill will. We pray that you, Lord, as we pray before, we know it's removed from us. We pray, Lord, that you continue to help us to lay that down each and every day, that we go before you, that we walk in love, we walk in power, and that we intercede for others, Father God. Give us the a burden, a prayer, uh, a prayer, Spirit of intercession, Father God, that we would truly be the church that's called out, Lord, for you, and that we would walk in the power of intercession and advocate for others to plead their case, to defend them, Lord. We know that you are a good God, and we thank you for your son, Jesus Christ, that's ever making intercession for us. We love you, Lord. We thank you. You are a powerful and a magnificent God. We serve the one and true living God, and we bless you on today. We thank you, Lord, in Jesus' name. Amen. We're going to do this really quick too. We also pray, Father God, you encounter the, the lost souls, that you would draw them in, Father God. You know, we want to advocate for them, for those that are dying and going to hell, that do not know you, Father God, that you would draw them in right now. Your word says they cannot come to you unless they're drawn in. It says that in John. So we pray for them now, John 6 and 44, that they would be drawn in in this moment, Father God. Draw them in with your love. Draw them with your mercy, with your goodness, Father God. And we pray, Lord, let us be the light. Help us to be the light, the salt and light that you've called us to be as a church so they can see our good works and glorify our Father in heaven. You are amazing, Lord. We love you so much. Amen. God is awesome. Continue to pray. Continue to advocate for others. God is with you. God is for you. You will win in Jesus Christ. God bless you.